Hi, this is Professor Dave Wilbur from USF. I'm going to teach you how to build apps for the Android um, platform, and we're going to use App Inventor. It's a visual language that lets you build apps, you know, learn how to build them within an hour, and within days build some fairly sophisticated ones. Um, so if you want to learn and you don't, you're not a programmer, this is the perfect language. To start, go to this URL. It's beta.appinventor.mit.edu. And you'll have to log in with any Google account. So I'm going to use one of my accounts, which um, is I haven't been to App Inventor with. And when I go there, um, you're going to see this screen. And this is the project screen for App Inventor. Now, App Inventor is a cloud tool, but you're going to need to download a piece of software to, to really use App Inventor to its fullest. And, and you really need to do this. So click on Learn. And you only have to do this the first time you come to App Inventor, then click on Setup. Okay, and you want to say set up your computer. And really, um, you need Java on your computer, but most computers that are you know less than five or six years old have it. But you may want to come back to this area here. But what you for sure want to do is install the App Inventor setup software. I'm going to show you for the Mac how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, but I click on Instructions for Map, Mac, click on Download the Installer, and that is going to download something to my computer. Oops, sorry, I think I might have done it twice. But when this comes up, just click Save File, and it's a DMG file, which is kind of an insta install file for Mac. And I'm going to just put that up here so we can kind of watch it go. Um, when that downloads, you're, it's going to bring up another like uh, mounted disk here. You'll click on that and you'll run a, a package file to start start things up. Um, but you want to make sure you download this software, and then you can use App Inventor and use the emulator and and all that that kind of stuff. Um, while this downloads, I'm going to pause our video. Then voila, I'll come back. But as you can see, it. It says about four minutes, but I think it usually takes, depending on your wireless, about a minute to a minute or two to get done. So I'm back, and it uh, the file's downloaded. It's a DMG file, and this might be slightly different depending on what version of Mac OS you're running. But I'm with, I just click on this DMG file, and it's gonna create this mounted disk. You may have to go find this in your downloads folder if, if this screen doesn't come up. Then once this mounted disk comes up, just click it, it'll open and there's this PKG package file. Just double click that and it'll set your stuff up. Um, welcome to App Inventor, just continue, um, continue, agree, and install. Okay, and you may have to type in your password uh, to sh say you allow installation on your computer. So this is going to install, uh, successful, great, and now you should be set up with the App Inventor software on your computer. Okay, now we can go ahead and close the learn window, go back to my projects, and we should be all set up. So I'm going to click on new, and the first project we're going to do is, is where we pet a kitty. So we have a picture of kitty, it's kind of a button. You touch it, and the cat meows. Wow. Exciting, right? But you'll learn a lot of stuff about the basic structure of an app by, by doing it. Um, so anyway, there's, there's Hello Kitty. And here is the main screen, the designer screen that you'll work with. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. Uh, but this is where you'll show what the app looks like. Okay? And you'll drag on buttons and images, all kinds of things. This is the user interface. I'm going to click on this Open the Blocks Editor, and that's going to open the second window for us. And I, th I think I mentioned Java. You might need Java. If you've got Java installed, it should come up that looks like Java Web Start here to open that file. And it's going to open a Java file Blocks Editor. And for me, everything's fine. Most Macs and some, you know, most newer Windows machines, this will come up fine, and you'll get your... Um, the blocks editor open. And this blocks editor is our second screen key one that you'll use. And let me let me make this guy a little smaller. Um, you can't see much yet, but what this is going to have is your your code. So it's going to be in blocks, but this is where you say how your app will behave. 
And by behave, I mean when something happens, what does the app do? So if the user clicks on the kitty, the app's going to meow. And those are called event handlers. So apps are kind of a series of event handlers. Um, and this is where you code that up. We'll get to that in a second. Um, the third window you're going to want up want to open is an emulator. And an emulator is kind of a a fake phone that that is on your computer. And this is this is what comes up with App Inventor. It's an Android emulator. And the nice thing about App Inventor is as you work, you can see your app you're building in real time. So there's this kind of testing interface that makes it real immediate uh, to see if things are working okay. So that's kind of loading loading up and, and App Inventor, or sorry, Android is, is loading. Um, once it loads, you just drag this green thing to kind of open it up and there's one more step and it's called connect to device. Okay, I can also plug my phone in with a USB cord and test directly on, my, uh, on a real phone. Um, if I do, my phone ID will show up here. Now all you see is this emulator, so I'm going to connect to that. And what's going to happen is my app, in about, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds, my app is going to appear in this um, emulator. Okay, takes about 20 or 30 seconds. Once you're connected, then you can just build stuff all you want and everything you do will show up over here in, in the screen. So it's a really nice testing interface um, for, for doing things. Okay, as you can see, here, here it comes. Um, and all that shows up right now is my app because really my app, if you look over here in our designer, it's got a title bar which says screen one. I can change that. So I can change that to Hello Kitty. Okay. And notice as soon as I change it, it shows up in my designer, in my builder, but it also shows up on kind of the final final product here. Okay, so that's that's how you try things out. I can also add a button here and it'll show up here and you know type in something like click me. Okay, and everything I do appears over here, which is which is really nice. Okay, so this is your basic setup. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually build this app and do some behaviors. Okay, um, but right now you can see that there's this scre three screens you need to to build things, and you've got this testing interface. I want to show you just a couple more things. One is package for phone. Okay, this testing interface. Um, is for the emulator or if I if I plug in my phone the apps not really on the phone okay um, if I disconnected the app wouldn't be there so if you really want to install on your phone like when you're done to deploy you can download to connected phone download to a computer um, and, and you can also test it you know put a barcode up and scan it onto your phone okay but that's called packaging to get it on your phone um, you can also share your source code if you go to my projects, choose your project, and then in more actions, do download source. So you could, if you want to send somebody your app, including the source code, so they can change it, this is how you do it. Okay. Uh, I'll show you one more thing, and this is a site, and it's called AppInventor.org. And I'm Dave Wolber. I'm a teacher at USF. This is the site where I have a lot of um, resources if you want to learn App Inventor. Okay, and in fact, for you know, I along with Hal Abelson, um, Ellen Spurtis, and Liz Looney, I wrote a book on App Inventor. All the chapters are up here, and along with the chapters, um, you can get to the PDF chapter, you can get to the source code for the app, and you can watch um, some screencasts that'll tell you how they work, just like the screencast you're watching watching right now. Um, so appinventor.org is a good place to be.